Hello techies, welcome back to the channel. In this video again, we are going to read all the comments and I will try my best to answer all the comments that you have and uh, try to uh, give the best explanation that I can give with my experience and knowledge. And uh, let's get started. Let's read your comments and let's see uh, what all I can answer. If not, and uh, you can connect to me on LinkedIn or Instagram. And uh, let's get started with the video. So Sambit Burma, it is a three month ago uh, comment. Uh, I'm sorry uh, if I didn't make a video, but I have already replied to your comment to whatever best possible. Uh, Hi Krishna, I'm planning for big data testing. Just saw your boss car, how to reach you. Okay, uh, if you are going to be uh, getting into big data testing, very nice, all the best and uh, see you soon. Uh, and also, um, saw your boss car, how to reach you. You can reach me on LinkedIn or Instagram. You can message me wherever possible and I'll try my best to connect with you. Thank you, Sambit, for commenting. Sanjay Yadav, thank you. I feel you are one of the most active uh, member of my channel. And thank you. Thank you, Krishna, for a nice content and explanation. I have a doubt regarding SD type 3 since we are storing partial historical data here. So my question is, we are we storing latest historical data or oldest historical data? As per the example you have provided, seems we store all this historical data okay Sanjay we can store uh, both the historical data so here if you have so I'll try to explain here uh, so if in a table you have say for example location let's see uh, this is location uh, this is also location but this I will say this is current location say for C location so what I would say here uh, if say for example this is Krishna uh, Okay. and my current location is blr okay and last location let's keep it dash or uh, let's keep it zero something then uh, what happens is uh, now i shifted to say for example i shifted from bangalore to hyderabad so what will happen uh, this data will be deleted i will again store krishna and uh, this last location can be uh, blr and then it can be Hyderabad. Since I've moved, the current location is Hyderabad. So, uh, so the choice, the business, the business, the business can choose to uh, use the and again. Say for example, again from Hyderabad, I moved to Chennai. Okay. So I delete this record also. Again, Krishna will come. Uh, here it is my choice to keep the oldest record. Okay. It is a business choice. The business can choose to keep BLR and then Chennai. But what will happen the Hyderabad data? If you see, the Hyderabad data is lost. Okay. But I, as a business, I can tell, I can tell not to store BLR, but to store again, I'll see. So I can keep as Hyderabad and Chennai. So it is always the business choice to use to use this method or this method okay whatever the business suggests it can be the oldest and the newest or it can be the la latest which is the last one and the current one okay so the choice so i'll mark this this and this and yellow so it can be yellow yellow one business choice pink pink other another business choice so it is always a business choice to uh, store the data in whichever way they want it can be uh, oldest and the newest or it can be last and the latest so the choice is always a business choice and uh, there is no fundamental rule as such okay i hope i answered your question if you still have some doubts please uh, uh, Again, uh, do let me know. I will try my best to make another video on SCD. Okay. Uh, thank you, Sanjay, for uh, your comments. And Kush, Kushwan Pawar. Kushwan Pawar, thanks. Amazing. Thank you for liking this video and putting a comment. It was nice. Uh, Jitendra, can I switch to ETL testing after six years of manual testing? Yes, sure, Jitendra, you can easily switch from uh, any field to ETL testing. The choice is always yours, and but you have to put in a lot of effort. Uh, if you are hardworking and if you are committed and if you are uh, 
persistent yes you can do it it can be done thank you for commenting and uh, praveen nice thank you nicely explained in testing practices thank you praveen for your comment by online consult ka link to de do yes you can um, uh basically watch our recent video which i have put in uh, how to connect to me on uh, one on one session or you can connect to me on linkedin or uh, instagram you can connect to me on linkedin or instagram i can surely provide you the link to or you can um use the link in any of the videos uh, in the description box there is a one on one session uh, there is a link in that you can use that link and schedule a one on one session with me it's me rby love thank you thank you for your love thank you uh Ishita Batra Ishita Batra thank you so much for your videos thank you so much for commenting and liking the video it's my pleasure um bada bada i'm sorry if i pronounce the name wrongly i can i want to install virtual box to use virtual machine like unix fintan can you provide the guide in the ways images that would be great thank you i will try my i will try to make a video or detailed video on how to set up the whole environment starting from virtual machine and then installing a uh, uh, unique system or a lens system uh, and then how to connecting it from multiple ways how to connect it using a kind of uh, taking that as a service and connecting it from a client all that i'll try to make a video and uh, i hope uh, that comes up soon <laughs> and uh, your comment has been four months but i haven't made that video but i'll try my best to make a video and give the whole setup from scratch uh amal pre Peter, I'm on Peter. Thank you for commenting, Bhata. Uh, thank you for commenting, Amal. Uh, Surrogate key is a unique key created automatically when data is loaded in target warehouse. Thank you. Yes, your answer is right. Power within you. Uh, the sequence where group by having order by clauses a uh, filter condition on group by clause. Yes, awesome. Thank you for putting your comment and trying to answer what I asked in the video. Thank you. And uh user kc bhai online consult with so yes i do online consulting uh, with regards to your career or with regards to switching careers uh, yes i do in every video you will find in the description box there is a uh, link for one on one session you can go and uh, schedule a one on one session if you uh, join my whatsapp and telegram link uh, telegram channels then uh, there also i uh, give some coupon codes which you can avail and you can get discount also need more stories please Sham Kumar need more story. Yes, I'll try to make more stories like this. Sham Kumar, the blue same. Great, thank you, thank you, brother. Pooja Patil, I am amazed the way you cracked the queries and simplified it for new learner. I like the way you explain. Thank you, thank you, Pooja, uh, for uh, uh, liking my uh, way of explanation. Thank you. I make I try my best to simplify the whole process and simplify the whole queries and I will be making more videos like that. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and thank you for liking the video. Salahuddin 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 sorry if I'm pronouncing the name wrong. Sir, can you please help me sir because I am in tent now. I have lots of fear sir. Okay, this is a student. I have gone to their school to uh, give uh, personality development uh, uh, seminars so uh, one of the student is replying on my video uh, to help so i'm not sure if he replied to me on instagram but uh, i took very less classes for 10th but i have taken classes for 9th and 8th 7th 6th so yeah uh, if you're watching this video thank you for commenting i hope you got help I sir it's rukia new public oh okay you're commenting from some other yes i have already uh i think you are busy so sorry for disturbing you sir it's no problem i have already commented you on uh, i've already replied to your messages on instagram i guess and uh, keep up uh, the spirit keep working hard and you can do it yes anup uh, shastri hi in devops knowledge required for data engineering well no no devops knowledge is required in now data and uh, you should know the basic knowledge because if you are into devops you are deploying um uh, you setting up some environment yes knowledge of data engineering is required but not to the detail level of what we are working on they just we need uh, thank you anup anup for uh, your comments uh, they just we need 
can you please share the big data testing roadmap for IT fresh in 2020? Uh, I'll try my best to make this video in 2024 uh, on the details of what all uh, things are required to uh, learn big data testing. Um, starting from setting up the new environment, uh, Hadoop, SDFS, MapReduce, all this I'll try to explain. Uh, thank you for commenting. Uh, I hope. Uh, like this video uh, the comments are more than six months old uh, i don't think uh, replying to those comments will be really helpful but if you still want uh, i'll try to make um, videos every week on um, replying to your uh, comments from the last week or little older uh, i'll try to make videos from here on every week or if not every week at least every two weeks or in a month i'll try to take all the comments and try to answer that and any doubts that you have in my videos please do comment i will take it seriously and try to make videos also from now on uh, thank you for uh, watching this video and this was part two of the uh, replying to your comments uh, if you like this video please uh, give a thumbs up to this video to make uh, the youtube understand that this is an important video and also please share it with your friends and relatives who are working into the testing or the data side or it even to the data engineering or data analytics side uh, please share this channel and also uh, give a thumbs up to this channel and uh, see you in the next video bye bye